Hello, my name is Vince and welcome to part 8 of Ruroken's Enjo Kyotorine playthrough. Last time we ended the video just at the fight with Aoshi, which I wisely decided to cut there because it's this is going to be a pretty long battle. And for those loyal followers who know we haven't been leveling up or using any of our stat points so far. Um, well, this will be a tricky battle, very tricky indeed. Um, if we manage to defeat Aoshi, luckily we will be awarded with or rewarded with the level up screen where we can finally give Kenshin a much needed boost in his vitality, strength and so forth. So without further ado, let's get this started. Oh no. There we go. Okay. So, he is pretty aggressive. Um, unlike most of the other opponents we've fought so far. But it's, uh, this is nothing we can handle. Is it? Come on, Ayoshi, I'm over here. Come on, come on, come on. Yeah, strike me. Remember, we have two very lethal techniques at our disposal. There we go. He has that whirl... What? That, 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 what he just did. That's actually his rolling animation. Um, when he does it, he's invis invincible. Just as Kenshin, when he rolls, you can't really hit him. But Aoshi's... Oh god, okay. But Aoshi's... Um, invincibility window, for example. So the time that he is invincible is a lot longer than Kenshin's. Plus it's easy to abuse it. Luckily, he's not being that aggressive yet. So we can... Slam some attacks on him. I hate this confined space, it, especially the the library books. They the stacks of books. They mess up the camera pretty bad. Okay, got him down to yellow health. Still hasn't managed to hit me. Pull off a special technique here. Oh no! Yeah. Total boss. That's okay, we're still. We still have the upper hand in this fight. Get down. No mercy! Okay, that, that was... that was... yeah, okay. I'm gonna make a replay out of that. So you see, that was so damn close. I, I just did the technique a little bit too early because he got up. He had that invincibility window again. Of course, we can we can use that too. It's a well-known gameplay mechanic which you can use your advantage when things get too hard. But that goes for the AI too. Um, not that he was abusing; it was just getting up. But yeah, I should have waited, executing the attack just for a while. Then I would have landed. Didn't matter anyway, we got him, so that was rather easy. Alright. Here we go, we got a lot of points. So, uh, the first option is quit and leave the points. The second option is insert a manual. This is 1.1, this is 1.2. This is manual, all in one stat, even distribution or a computer recommendation. We're going to go with manual. Here we go. Um, this is physical power, mental power, combo, blocking, key, counter, tsunagi, 
Here we have our moves. All of them are at three, except for the last ones, which is, I think this is the Kuzuris and this is Amake Kerori no Hirameki. We're not gonna insert any points in the techniques just yet because we want more physical power. Uh, okay, wait, I'm pressing circle, but it's not doing anything. Uh, don't tell me. Yeah, okay. I just ended up spending my all of my points by choosing the wrong option. Well, that kind of sucks, but okay. At least we'll be a bit stronger. So for you, for those of you who thought it was over just by that fight, mm -mm. not by a long shot. Strange that there are no voices. I can't remember if there were voices here. Well, round two. Gonna fight him again. This time, he is another bit more aggressive. Do our best to win anyway. Of course we will. We're catching. Oh god, oh god, oh god. No, 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 no. Oh god, oh god, I'm dazed. I'm da oh, I'm stunned. Run, run! Okay. Gotta watch out. Gotta watch out. You gotta watch out. Come on, come on. I think that's another miss. Is it? Is it? Is it? Yes, it's another miss. Okay, so so far we've tried hitting him with three Kuzuri Usens and both of them failed. Oh god. Oh, oh no. Okay, I'm dead. Yep. Yep. Yeah, see? More aggressive. You're not gonna trick me again, come on. Stop jumping around so much, come on. Okay, we almost got him. <laughs> Easy. One minute eighteen, wow. Okay, uh I am definitely sure the first option is quit and leave points. By all standards this should be manual, but it's not. This should be computer recommendation. Or oh is it no oh, wait 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 wait. This is the one. Yes, okay. That makes sense, so we need more physical power. Maybe we didn't distribute any points, I don't know, at least we're doing it now. So physical power, mental power, no, combo, no, blocking, we're not even using blocking, so... Mm, this is key. Not really sure what key has influence two in this game uh countering no, okay no no no. let's dump it all into physical power because that'll increase his attack strength but also his health points 
if I'm not mistaken. That could be no, that's not metal power. No, no, no. Anyway, anyhow, we're done here. この戦いに決着をつければ先に進めぬこの戦いの決着をつけることに拙者は依存はないやべえぞ剣心さっきまでとは目が違うああ拙者も初めて見るおそらくあれが官流に流れ着くさらに前の沖などのが認めあの四人
to chase after the title of the strongest and, and battle Kenshin to the death at all costs, abandoning any and all affiliations he had with Onimabanshu, Misao, Okina. He messed up Okina pretty bad. Um, and yeah, <laughs> scarred poor Misao for life. Uh, okay, but let's not uh, go into that any further right now. I seriously need to upgrade his health. My initial thought was that it was connected with physical power, but I don't think so. I, I don't really think it is. Maybe it, it's connected with key, since that's pretty low. There's no, there's no real way of telling anyhow. But okay. We did it. We defeated Aoshi. We get to save. Cool. So we're gonna save. Uh, let's also quickly take a break. I'll be right back, guys. Okay, we're back. Um, so save the game. Oh, oh, what, what's what's all this then? What what what's all this? I don't know. No, no, no just save. There we go. Well, um, as I was talking about in a previous video, while Saito, Sanosuke and Kenshin are busy with their assault on Shishio's uh, headquarters, a couple of other Jupon Gatana members uh, have started their attack on the Aoya, which is the place where the remaining Oniwabanchu members are, but more importantly, Kaoru and Yahiko. Um, yeah, that's a pretty dangerous situation, because sure, they're all talented warriors, but these, these guys are killers, and as you can see, they even send out a freaking giant. So they manage to defeat the attacking Jupon Gatana members until that giant appears, and here we have the savior. It's really too bad we don't get to see or play any of this, because Hiko, Kenshin's master, the battle he has with, with the giant, Fuji, it's one of my it's one of my favorite moments in the in the show. It's really incredible how Hiko manages to to draw out his opponent's full potential and then still beat him. But then again, Hiko is a Superman character, so yeah, they pretty much always win. The next door, I um, I wonder who's behind it. I'm sure she's telling me right now, but hmm, I wonder. Yeah, I do know. And fans also know. And this is a dead giveaway. Thank you, loading screen. It's time for Kenshin and Sojiro's rematch. <laughs> He's saying something like, uh, the, the first time they fought, they really didn't have time. Because, remember, Shishi was escaping and Sojiro was, was, being, was, was getting worried that he would have to catch up to, to, to Shishio, so his, his master got too far away from him. So he, he, he wanted to finish the fight quickly. Um, that's also why there was a timer, by the way. Now they have all the time they want, at least Sojiro has. Oh, and make no mistake, this little, smiling, creepy kid, he is the strongest member of the Jupon Katana. And also, one of the more harder fights in this, in this game, really. This guy is so incredibly fast. His moves are so lethal. Well, suppose you'll see in a moment. Okay, sorry for that quick interruption, but here we go. You see, I like this room a lot more. No obstacles, it's pretty big. You can spot him. Yeah, he's still 
taking it casually. Look at look at that thing he does with the. F did you see? Did you see what he did with his feet? Let's see that again. Come on, come on, do do it again. Come on. I think I can trigger it when I get too far away from him. Now look. That's his shukuchi technique. You also notice how he briefly turns in, in invisible. Yeah, that gets far worse as the battle progresses. To the point that we won't even be able to see him at all. Oh, that was that was cool. Holy hell! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Come on! No! 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 Oh, look at his face. Holy hell. Oh, oh, come on, come on, come on. Yeah, that's a direct hit. Still, it's not gonna... Not gonna take away from his health that much, but... Eh. We need every hit we can. Uh oh, uh oh, oh yeah, 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 we we do need every hit we can because now we're pretty much screwed. Come on. Okay. Oh yeah. <laughs> that was very unfortunate. Come on, one more time. Holy hell! Stop doing that, you annoying little bugger! まだ殺さずを貫くつもりなんですか。拙者がこの坂場と真打ちを振るう限り、それは変わらんでござる。でもそれじゃあ僕には勝てませんよ。まあいいや。今回は新月村の時に手加減するつもりはありませんから。Come on. See, unlike the others, he's neither passive nor really aggressive. He's, he's a combination of both, which makes it very hard for you to find your pacing in, in a fight like this. Because if you get too frantic, he'll he'll own you. He'll own you in, in a couple of seconds, even. Um, if you are too patient, this battle is going to draw a lot longer than it should. And yeah, as you probably would have guessed, defeating him once isn't... Isn't gonna gonna cut it. So pretty easy to evade, even though I got hit by it multiple times. Oh no! Oh no! Yeah, yeah. Now we're stunned. He's gonna hit us again, and we're gonna die. Oh yeah, we're dead. Are we still alive? I don't think we're still alive. No, no, we're dead. No, it's alive. Okay, come on, come on, come on. Ah, oh, he just disappeared. Maybe no, 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 no. He disappeared. <laughs> oh, damn. Damn, damn, damn. Okay, one more time. Oh no. <laughs> yeah, this is this is where the game really really starts getting hard. Keep in mind we upgraded our stats even, so first time I played this game all the way through, I didn't even do that. I just, <laughs> I just kept everything on zero. No idea what I was thinking about. But mainly, I was just really impressed I was actually playing this game. Um, but now, even <clears throat> with upgraded stats, this is turning out to be, yeah, the hardest fight we've done so far. Come on, man! Come on! Come on, okay. We gotta study his patterns, cause 
If we back off too far away from him or don't attack him, he does that. That's easy to evade, easy to predict. And then he, he teleports to the cross to do the other side of the room. To just do it all over again. Oh crap, oh crap. If I get hit by his combo, yeah, it's basically over because it stuns me pretty fast. He always does that. Gotta really mind my back because in the anime show and in the original manga story, Kenshin was rarely or, or I don't think he ever got hit in the back. The only person that succeeded in doing that was Sojiro. Because in order to hit someone from behind, you either have to sneak up on them, but that's not the kind of fights you usually see in the Drone Kenshin. It's not really sneaky, they're all honorable warriors, more or less. Um, so in order to hit someone from behind, in the back, you have to be faster than that person. And guess what? The only, only real opponent that Kenshin ever had that was faster than him? Just pure speed? Yeah, that's Sojiro. Oh, you see, you see. Come here. No, 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 Um, I don't know. I think he's directly in front of me, but he's too far away. Yeah, he's too far away. We still only got him down to mildly yellowish. There's still some tints of green in there. And we're already in red. Oh no. What the. Yeah, that was one of his special attacks. Well, not really a special attack, but. Oh, okay, cool, cool, cool. Orange, orange, orange. Ah oh, no! I was I was trying to do the Amakakiro you know Hiromeki and yeah. Yeah, that didn't work out. We almost got him though. We almost did. Oh no, that was a that was weird. That was awesome. Come on. Come on, do something, man. Okay, he's in the team this way, like, no? Oh yeah, I, I knew that was a gamble, but... Eh. Come on. Ah! Oh. Off he goes. Oh no, 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 no! Oh, what was I thinking? I totally dropped my guard. What the hell was I thinking? This is not good. Not good at all. Concentrate, come on. Ah, oh, you little bugger, you sidestepped it. Uh, yeah. Um, okay, guys, I've checked the recording time. We've already reached a half hour mark. Um, or almost reached a half, half hour mark. Yeah, wow. 
Um, well, at least we accomplished something in this video. We defeated Aoshi. Uh, too bad we didn't get to see any of his special moves in... in, in too bad we didn't get to see any any of his special moves hitting me directly. Wow, that that's that's really really okay. Yeah, time to stop the video. <laughs> um, so next time we'll be taking it off right here in our battle with Sojiro. Hopefully we'll have more luck than what we just had. This fight didn't go so well. The one before that, yeah, we almost got him. That was that was that was really so damn close. Um, just a few things I want to note. Uh, we've been busy uh, redesigning the Heart of the Sword forums. Um, we've been working really hard on, on a new design, a new um, P a new forum software, clean install, just as mostly any other forum. We've had loads of spam, those damn spammers. They just keep coming back, and it's not all automatic spammers. It's like manual spammers. There's nothing really you can do to stop that, but a new install of, of any forum software and an increased uh, security with captchas and so on that will reduce the spamming but it was also time to give the heart of the sword uh, forums a much needed redesign because it's 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 really an old forum or the design is really old so we uh, the guys uh, and the admins of uh, our team we decided it was best to to start new also to attract uh, more and and more people to the forum. Um, I still have to give, or I, I should really, and I will give a shout out to my good friend Seta, uh, who is also an admin at the Heart of the Sword forums. He also helps me out on the Facebook fan page and on the Rerokin website. He's really been helping me out a lot. Uh, props to you, Seta. You're an uh, amazing, amazing guy. And I thank you. Thank you for your support. Thank you for your help. And I really thank you for your input. Um, besides that, we've been busy with merchandising. Uh, there are still some legal issues uh, we need to wrap our he heads around. Um, but, you know, we, we approached the legal owners, the copyright holders, saying, okay, here, we mean business. But, yeah, we, we do mean business. But in order for us to strengthen that statement, it's really, really important that if you enjoy Ruroni Kenshin, if you enjoy the stuff we at Ruro can do, then please show your support. Um, I'm not talking necessarily about money, but I'm just talking about like the fan page, spread the fan page, um, the Facebook fan page to all of your friends, to anyone you know that likes Ruroni Kenshin or would like the, to be a part of the stuff we do here. Um, that would show the legal companies that we really do mean business because only by growing larger can we make this into something even more special. Um, I was talking about money just a few moments ago, not that I necessarily want to connect it to this, but recently we've added a PayPal donation button on the website. Um, there's lots of, I wrote a very extensive uh, article about why and what the purpose is of the PayPal donate button. And of course, where all the money will be going that people who, who donate. Uh, mainly, it's just to um, pay all the, the costs of the website itself, you know, server costs, domain name costs, uh, advertising, all of that stuff. Um, if you want, you can read up on the article. I'll be posting a link below the video here and on screen. Uh, you can read up on that. Donating would really help us if you're not able to. Uh, if you're not able to support us, if you want, of course. If you're not able to support us by other means, then you know, if, even if it's only a dollar, it still means a lot to us to see that people are are engaged and that you want to support us. Um, so. In the future, that will be connected to merchandising too. So, you know, t-shirts, buttons, all this all this cool stuff. Um, that way you'll be supporting Ruroken directly and you can get some kick-ass products in return. So that's a pretty nice deal if I say so myself. Uh, okay, guys, I'll be cutting it off here. I've been rambling on about stuff you're probably not even interested in uh, long enough. So I'll see you next time and have a nice week. Bye.